Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm EVM and this is the <clears throat> new Volkswagen ID3, or as I'm going to call it from now on, the facelift. It's the same car underneath. There have been tweaks, we'll tell you about them later on. The software, the interior, which is the big one, that got the criticism. But there's been a few exterior tweaks as well. So have Volkswagen fixed the issues that we said it had a few years ago? Have they got it back to where it should have been at launch? The main visual changes are at the front. They're subtle, but they actually make a decent difference. The black plastic bit at the top of the bon uh, bonnet from the previous one, that's gone. It's now all metal. It's, it's more traditional, kind of golf-esque, car-esque, if you will. But it does make it appear a little bit longer. I do think that looks a lot better just for that little bit of a, a change. And you've got some front bumper differences as well. You've got some vents going down here, slight changes down the front end. It just makes it a little less cutesy and a little, little bit more aggressive. And yeah, you know what? It does make enough of a difference to stand out. It was never a really good looking car before, but it was never an ugly one either. Now it's, it's an Volkswagen. Very, very similar silhouette. They have got rid of the badge here. And on some of them, they have that kind of decal. That's gone as well. Again, it just makes it a little more simplified and little changes can sometimes make a big difference. So yeah, I've never thought of it as a bad looking car, as I said earlier, but this is all right. And I think in the right color, I'd probably go for a darker one. And the entrances, there we go. The entrance to the ah, passenger and the rear, very, very wide, easily get a car seat in there, a child seat. And although it's slightly higher due to the batteries, I won't say you're stepping into it, it is a, a typical family Volkswagen car. It does all the, the practical stuff very well. Now, as before, drum brakes at the rear. And we said it as well, it's kind of got a bit of stick for that. But the amount of people I speak to now who are having to replace their discs through lack of use, that's actually not that bad an idea now. It kind of makes sense. It's not like a GTI that needs discs front and back. And it's got a lot of stopping power. So I don't mind that anymore. Again, kind of minor visual changes. This is no longer a reflector, it's a full light bar. If I get the key out and unlock it, you can sort of see what I mean. Um, so yeah, it's very, very similar. Not much to see in terms of changes. I'm not sure about the two-tone. I think I'd go for a flat color. But I do like the fact that they've hidden the handle in the badge. So it just makes it a little bit more minimalistic and neater. Boot, not the biggest in its class, not the smallest. Decent size, you've got some underneath storage there for your cables or whatever you want. It's a safe design, it always was. But I can more than live with this, I'd be happy with this on my driveway. It's kind of classless. Charging, that's been upped, now does up to 170 kilowatts, CCS of course, and that's, that's a good amount. I'm happy with that. I think all EVs should have a minimum of 100, so up to, up to 170. Yeah, that, that's about right for me. Right, let's start off with the steering wheel. Fortunately, you do have the haptic feedback button still, even though other new Volkswagens have ditched them for actual buttons, and it's possible this might get upgraded sometime next year, I think. Um, yeah, that, that's a bit of an annoyance. I'm not a fan of that, not many people are. The steering wheel does feel really nice though. Now, there is a big upgrade in this interior. That is not high, high rent, but it's a lot softer than the previous model. This again feels a lot nicer. You do have the black gloss, unfortunately, though, that attracts fingerprints. And this is a touch point, so it does really attract fingerprints. And you've got the two button rear, uh, just give me four buttons. And this is definitely an upgrade. I mean, you can see my finger just pressing into that. It's nice, soft material, thick sort of leather approach makes a big difference compared to the cheap kind of hard wearing plastic from before. And that again, feels nice and solid for Volkswagen build quality. You do have the hardware and plastics down here, but it's a decent size door bin there. So good practicality so far. If I press the brake the pedal, that turns the car on and you end up with this, not virtual cockpit. It's, it's identical to before really. It does give you a bit more information than it did at launch. And as you can see, the efficiency has got a lot better, but we'll talk about that later. So drive, reverse, and then 
that in park so again that's not changed this is all right you, you get used to that and you do it by muscle memory so i don't i don't mind that at all not everybody likes it and then as we carry on here you've got the much nicer softer material yeah, still up much, there much nicer that's yeah. a lot better down here we've got the cup holders of course with more black gloss unfortunately still around and relatively cheap or hard wearing should i say plastics wireless charging there that lifts up and just a bit more storage and if we come back here You've got quite a deep storage bin, which can be divided if you wish, and you can close it off to hide your valuables. Now it is a facelift, so I think we know what's happening mm. here. Ah. Uh, only half a glove box because right and drive, left on drive conversions. You're just going to get one glove in yes. there. Yes, yeah, that's a one glove glove box. The infotainment system, that next year is getting uh, upgraded to a 12 inch, but for now, in UK, we've stuck with the 10 inch because the conversion special. Not it's a hell of a lot better than it was at launch. It was really buggy, it was slow. It just, I don't know, it got on your nerves. You had to get used to it. Once it's warmed up, it, it, it is fine. And because we've been using this, it's not slow. But sometimes you press a button and it just takes a few seconds for something to come up. But compared to what it was before, it's a massive upgrade. CarPlay, Android Auto, that takes care of anything. You do have these black gloss fingerprint attracting sort of buttons everywhere, which again, didn't really go down well with anybody. That's still the same. Hopefully it'll do something with that in the future. Um, so not great, but better. Seats, I mean, these are the standard seats. They're not the uh, really high spec ones or anything. Comfortable. They're comfortable, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. all right. Again, and I quite like the fact that we're in a standard car, not a really spec'd up one. Look at these. Oh, oh amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know what? For as much as we joke around with these, the British oh. real armrest, they're yeah. very, very well placed. I just feel You're like it could be a bit more high rent premium, yeah, for a 30 odd grand car. I do feel like there. I'm sat on a train. It's it's good. It's good. What can I say? Are you gonna get at least two wow. full grown people? Is no it uh, three abreast? Do you know what? I'd say for short journeys, yeah, but having done a, a long journey in the barn, which is a same car, essentially. Yeah. It's not three adults in the back, though. No. The only yeah. thing I'll say, and the camera's having a little bit of a hard time, the you can get a panoramic roof as I an option. I think it needs one. It's very dark in here. Or yeah. it needs, you need to, or just a different coloured trim. This is the original ID3. We're in the studio, so we can show you the differences. The dashboard materials, for example. It's very hard wearing. I mean, feel that. If I look at the door here, all the hardware yeah, and stuff, not that's, not, that's not as good. Obviously, the haptic feedback, and that's the same. But essentially, this is definitely what people complained about. This is what they didn't like. So, first impressions as a driving car. So, you know, is, does it feel like a Volkswagen? It typically feels does. Like a, yeah, feels like a Golf. Just like a Golf. Just like, like the like Golf. Like, yeah, just like the advert, yeah. Shall we open the uh, doors when we're moving? See if you it sounds like it. a Golf. See if it sets an alarm off. Sounds, sounds like, like a, a golf. golf. Do you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. This is, for the sake of some, I won't say minor upgrades, but effectively just material upgrades. Yeah. It has made a huge difference. It's, it's made a massive di uh, difference to the experience, hasn't it? I feel like I'm in something that's more expensive. Yeah. And it's the base spec. And that just shows the difference between- A little bit what of they Yeah, what they did before, what, what, what Skoda did with the, with the ENYAC, to yeah. the ID4 yeah, yeah. and what Cupra have done with the Bourne so to the ID3. This is now for me about where I'd expect the to interior be. to be. Would you say from a car I'd of this price? So, yeah, yeah. I would like a, maybe a bit of a virtual cockpit. Some I, cars have a really cool display, but I've been picking now. I really am been picking. Yeah, I think it, that is very basic. It's it? functional. I like the fact that Volkswagen have gone. Whoops. Do you know what? It takes it takes big balls on it to go. Okay, we've made a mistake. Let's 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 get the the new ID three and to bring it forward a yeah, year. Yeah. That's a big thing for a manufacturer to do. Oh, yeah. They have life cycles and they've yeah. just shortened it by a year. Yeah. So now we're on quicker roads. Is it golf esque handling? Because it's not the GTI equivalent or anything. But is it is it? It, does, it feels planted it, it does from feel the passenger. Planted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the damping's quite good. It's it's really quiet. It's I quiet. Can, I can feel the dampers working underneath. If you know what I mean, like yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. shuffling away. But it's not communicative. Relatively, yeah. In yeah. a Volkswagen for, way. For, for a new vehicle, it's, it's not too bad. There's not really much to say about the driving in that it, it, it's comfortable, it's relaxing, it's not egging me on. It's just a, I'm going to go shopping, yeah. I'm going to go pick the kids up, and it's going to do that reliably. Hmm. 
So they've simplified the range. There's the Pro and the Pro S. Yeah. Which, good. I don't, I don't want 15 different versions. Uh, the entry level essentially starts at £37,115. That's obviously that's list price. Right. I think that's about right. For a 50-odd kilowatt hour battery? Yeah, probably is. The Pro S, 77 kilowatt hour battery, that starts at £42,870. Which again, for a 70-odd kilowatt hour battery, is about right. Because yeah. that's the that's same price as a Model 3 standard range, which has got 50-odd. So there is it, one it's, drawback though, isn't it, to a slightly larger battery, and that's that you lose yeah a four seats. Seat. Now they have lots of packs because it's Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's well spec. Interior comfort pack two thousand three hundred twenty-five pounds. Driver assistance pack nine hundred eighty-five pounds. Heat pump nine hundred seventy pounds. Wow. Driver assistance pack plus two thousand ninety-five pounds. Exterior pack seventeen hundred twenty-five pounds. Exterior pack plus with panoramic roof, which this doesn't have, £3,080. Transport hitch for bicycle carrier, £365. Oh, that's not too that's bad. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interior comfort pack plus, £4,085. I'm, I'm not really thinking, I I'm, you know, spec this up much. No, I think, I think the, the, like with a lot of the cars that we, we test drive, you think, well, Go for the base, maybe pick a couple of options, but don't spec it up too much because you can just get something better. 42-ish, would you go for the 77 battery version? I'd go for a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I, joking aside, I'd go for the base, well, it's the, the 50 kilowatt. And once we get to 2025, the Pro S will, assuming nothing changes of course, luxury car tax. Yeah, I'd, I'd just go for the, the smaller battery. I think this is this it's is quite well. Saying we'll get two hundred and twenty miles. I think as well, once you start going to the Pro S, you, you, you're carrying around a lot more weight. You're not going to be as efficient. Four seats. Yeah, it's, there's too many. Mm, I mean, the amount of times that I'm going to need the extra uh, range. Yeah. I don't think I can. It's like what, it, once it, a year, twice a year. Yeah, Rear-wheel yeah, drive, of course. Six hundred six for five miles. That's sixty. That's not bad, is it? That it, yeah, it's, it, it's not goes. rapid, but it's more than quick enough for yeah. an average family vehicle. I think the thing is, is that that will surprise a lot of people if this is their first EV. Because yeah, it's the that lack of the gear change yeah. and stuff like that. It's just the, the constant build of speed, isn't it, up to about 50 or 60. The instant talk of EVs always makes people think they're a lot quicker than yeah. they are, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah they, but a couple hundred brake horsepower. Efficiency, let's talk about that. Well, surprisingly. You, yeah, I mean, again, we're still just nudging over four miles per kilowatt hour, 4.1. Uh, that's not trying. No, 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 we're, we're, we're doing the old, oh, hey. this is, feels quick. Um, and it's, yes, it's summer, but it's only 16 degrees. I'd say, is it, it feels more like <laughs> like autumn, doesn't it, really, yeah. with the weather we've been having. Um, and granted, when we had the first edition, it was winter Minus, time. Yeah. yeah. Um, and winter really killed the brain. We were getting like 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour in that. So, They've definitely tweaked the the, the, the that, efficiency. Yeah. The software has fixed a lot of the problems, and this now for me, I'm going to put at between 170 and 220 miles, averaged out all year round. Yeah. And of course, it depends on how you drive. So with one stop, you can go from London to Edinburgh. Yeah. And and with with some to spare. I think that's the thing. Is it? for me, 200 miles is is a, a yeah. really nice. Winter number. real world range. Yeah. That is that all you need in the UK. Yeah. 230 winter, 240 winter for the bigger battery version. And, and you know, 300 you, in summer. You could get 300 if you tried in uh, summer. I'm sure you could. So you're looking at what? Six, five or six grand it's more not worth it, is it? for the bigger battery version. The heat pump's what, 900 pounds? Yeah, call it a grand. I, I don't think you're ever going to get that back out of it. No, but if you did need that extra range in winter, buy the smaller battery version with the heat, heat pump, pump and save, save yourself money. four grand. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a better car than I expected. I, I wonder if that's so because of the first generation yeah. was so poor. <laughs> yeah. I think that's maybe that'll set the bar. Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. But, but I, I do feel like I'm getting a car that's worth its asking price. What are the alternatives then, price wise? So this well, is, th let's call it 37 grand starting price. And you might get discounts on that. You might do, yeah. Um, so you're looking at Kia Nero territory. Which I would go for a Nero. That's a very, very good car. Does the Kona. Further. Kona, maybe a little, Kona's a lot smaller. That Compact. Probably would it's a bigger interior. I don't know. Depends what your needs are, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Cooper Bourne. Now, which would you go for? I'd go for the Cooper Bourne. Why? Because 
So it looks better. It's like the yeah, it's just a bit. Yeah, it looks better. I I I, I, we, I drove that a lot longer, so I I, I got a, more, a lot more feeling. Yeah, that for a good week too. Yeah, but I, I, it looks better. The interior is a slight, a tiny step up from this. The it's, seats it, were nice. But purely uh, aesthetic reasons. Yeah. There's no technical reason. There's no, 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 no cheap no. material reason. No. It's purely it which you prefer. Nicer. Model three. Model three. I mean, that's, well, that's not the real. list is 42, yeah. which puts it in bigger battery version territory of this. Standard range Tesla or this in a lower battery version and save yourself four or five grand. I'd go for Tesla. Because of the network. Yeah. It's a step up, isn't it, on the, the, think, bra the branding? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a Tesla. Oh, you got a Volkswagen. Yeah. So it's very snobbery. But it is, but yeah, I think it's, it's the next You feel like you've got it? a, yeah, yeah. You feel like you've got more for your money, I think. What else? MG4. Well, this is the one that trumps almost every car around, though, isn't it? The MG4, because that starts at, what is it, twenty six and a half, twenty seven thousand pounds for the yeah. smaller battery version. So even if we look at the bigger battery version, you're looking at a saving of eight grand. Well, what about this? Or the, is it the X-Power? Oh, the X-Power? Same price. The 400 roughly. brake horsepower. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the same price as the entry-level yeah, ID3. Yeah. Wow. Well, do you know what? I think that puts into perspective just how cheap MG are able to do things at the moment. I mean, to be honest, I prefer the interior of this to the MG4. But I'd still go for the MG4. Which we said the opposite when we sat in the MG4, that's how much this has come, yes, on. come on. If somebody went, do you want an ID3 or do you want a, uh, an MG4, I, if they're going to give me it, I'd go for this. Yeah. If I'm going to spend my own money, I'd go for the MG. Because that extra, extra six, seven, eight, yeah. nine thousand pounds is... Yeah, I, I couldn't, as a Yorkshireman, I couldn't be paying that extra. Well, who could? That's, that's another car. Now, this is something which puts this in mega good value light. Would you prefer the car we're sat in right now for, let's say, £37,000? 38, we've got an option pack on top of it. Or you could spend over £1,000 more and get the base spec Vauxhall Mocha. I think I'd go for this. Absolutely. So that just shows that with, with the MG, no one can compete. But now this is actually quite competitive. It is, yeah. I mean, the Mocha's overpriced for me, and the Citroen C4, whoa, which one do you go for? Oh, Citroen C4 or this? I, my own money, I'd go for the Citroen just because of it, just, just for sublime riding that. I, I think I'd go for this. Would you? Yeah. You know what, it's really growing on me the more I drive it. Yeah, I was a bit like that. I, I, do you know what, and I couldn't pinpoint what I liked about it. Maybe that's the thing. It's not a case of what we like, it's we can't find much that we dislike. Yeah. Now, last time we were in an ID range car, I think it was the ID3 actually, you said it was a pot noodle with the flavour sachet removed. Yep. So, what now is it? Is I'm thinking, and this has been, this has been nice, um, I'm thinking either vanilla ice cream or margarita pizza. It's a safe option. Everybody likes it. The last pizza I got was a margarita pizza. Yep. It's not something we pineapple on that some people are going to go, Aah! It's not something you've put chilies on that someone's going to go, oh, I don't like it too spicy. Yeah, it suits it's something everybody. something that everybody's going to yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lorna would like this. Yeah. So you're absolutely jumping in and just carry on driving, which, you know, I think is quite an important factor for a family car because we're car people. Yeah. And most of the people driving this sort of thing aren't. aren't no, at all. So that's sometimes the better person to listen to. Right, well, I have to say, congratulations, Volkswagen. Yeah. Uh, Thumbs up. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm well done. This. Well, yeah, well done. I wish it had been here, and it should have been, quite frankly, two or three years ago. But it's here now. Do you so... know what? I find myself surprised saying that because I, I came here thinking, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. not going to have done that. It's, it's, it's going to be like they've just sprinkled a bit of glitter on it. And it's also had two or three years worth of software development behind it. Yeah. So it, 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 I feel like I'm in a finished product as I opposed to yep, a beta. That's one. it. That's, that's there a we good go. way of putting it. Yeah. Do you know what else is a finished product? We're, we're a completely finished product. Other than us, of course. Membership. Memberships. Whoa. 99p a month to support the channel. Inflation busting. Absolutely. Get videos on Sunday instead of Friday. Wow. And members live stream every month to ask me anything you like. Thank you for watching. We will see you. In fact, we may see you on the second channel, Driving Home, because we show you behind the scenes of this event. Yeah. So there you go. Take, you, take you with us. Yes. Cheers, guys. Thanks I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.